can't predict exactly when the South by Fault earthquake is going to happen, but the science tells us that it, it, it has produced earthquakes of about that magnitude approximately every 300 years over the last 8,000 years. And so we know that it's likely to happen within the lifetimes of many New Zealanders today. The earthquake is likely to affect a large part of the South Island, but, but mainly the western side of the island, which is home to not that many uh, people, relatively speaking, probably about 50,000 people. But of course, it's one of our tourism meccas. We have a large number of visitors who come through there um, each year in normal uh, pre-COVID times. And so we do have a number of people exposed to this kind of shaking. An earthquake like this will produce shaking for two to three minutes. It will produce severe shaking in some parts of the Western South Island. The work we've been doing on AF8 is about firstly preparing our agencies to respond more effectively to this event and secondly to reach out to the community so that they can become better aware of the landscape in which they live, the types of hazards that they're exposed to and how they can get better prepared as communities to, to respond to an event like this you respond as a community to potentially being isolated for a period of weeks to months in some cases and so that takes a huge community effort. Fear quickly gives way to a realisation that um, knowledge is power so I think we've really experienced that a lot when we go out into the communities to talk that knowledge does seem to help them feel a sense of okay this is what we're going to deal with and we need to uh, work together to respond to something like this. Earthquakes happen without warning. We can't predict when they're going to happen, but we can prepare for them. And that's the key message. New Zealand needs to get better prepared. And that's the work that we're trying to achieve.